Overdose Free provides the New York City community with guidance on how to prevent and respond to an opioid overdose. Join us and save a life. If you're with someone experiencing an opioid overdose, you can help them by using a medication called naloxone. Naloxone is safe, effective, and can save a person's life by reversing an opioid overdose. It works on a variety of opioids, including fentanyl, a fast-acting opioid that is 50 to 100 times stronger than morphine. Fentanyl is being found in heroin, cocaine, crack, pills, and other drugs sold on the street and online. If you suspect someone is having an overdose and don't know what they've taken, you can give them naloxone because naloxone only works on opioids and is safe to use even if opioids are not present. So, what are the signs of an opioid overdose? If you suspect an overdose, check if they're unconscious by shouting their name. If they don't respond, perform a sternal rub by making a fist with your hand and rubbing your knuckles hard up and down their breastbone for 5 to 10 seconds. If they wake up, stay with them and monitor them. Do not leave them alone. If they don't wake up, call 911 and explain what's happening as it's a medical emergency. Then, give them naloxone. Peel back the packaging to remove the device. Put the nozzle in either nostril until your fingers touch the bottom of the person's nose. Then, press the plunger to release the medication. It's important to remember that all of the medicine comes out at once. Wait two minutes, and if they don't respond, give them the second dose in the other nostril. If you have to leave the person or are not actively giving naloxone, providing rescue breaths, or CPR, put them in the recovery position to prevent choking. After they wake up, they may feel confused or afraid, so make sure to explain clearly what happened. Naloxone blocks the effects of opioids for 30 to 90 minutes. Naloxone may also cause withdrawal symptoms until it wears off. Let them know that using more drugs is unlikely to relieve the withdrawal, but can increase their risk of overdosing again. Stay with the person until the ambulance arrives. If they refuse medical attention, make sure someone stays with them for at least three hours because another overdose is possible after the naloxone wears off. Congratulations! You now know how to save a life using naloxone. If you live in New York City and need a naloxone kit, contact us or another Stop OD NYC program. If you use your naloxone kit, please let us know and we'll help you submit an anonymous report. We'll also happily replace your kit if you use it, even if it's just one dose, if you lose it, or if it expires.